Hey everyone, my name is Adam and I'm on the sales team here at Boyd Smith Innovation. Today's video is going to be going over all the features of our new 305E Genesis Series electric sprayer. Now, this unit here has a 305 gallon tank and comes standard with a hitch mounted spray boom, a 50 foot spring rewind hose reel, and an in-cab controller. Now we're going to go over some of the features of the unit itself. As we mentioned before, this unit comes standard with a VSI Genesis Series pile driver boom. This offers you two different options for spraying. The first one here is a center stainless steel pipe with holes drilled into it, and that'll give you what we would call a jet stream pattern. If you want to switch to a broadcast pattern for, say, pre-treatment, you'll just simply release your cam locks and switch it to pre-treatment. This unit is also adjustable on the hitch height here, and it is solid steel, powder coated, with a stainless pipe inside, so even if you back into something, say like a, a post, uh, a dumpster, or something like that, you're not gonna actually damage the boom, it's not gonna shorten your night. So now we're gonna go over a couple of the items that are actually on the sprayer here. So first off, we're starting at the bottom, this is your fill port. So when you're actually filling from a powered, uh, like a gas pump, uh, you'll hook onto this with a two inch cam lock connection. You'll open up this valve and all the liquid will flow into the tank this way. When you step up to here, this is where you actually connect your boom cam lock to. And this is a T-Jet one inch electric valve. This will actually control the flow going to your boom through the in-cab controller. And then the last feature is your 50 foot spring rewind hose reel. It comes with a spray gun with adjustable pattern so you can go from a jet stream to a fan stream. It's as simple as pulling it out and then letting it go back in. The roller guides will help uh, guide it in place so it doesn't roll over on top of each other. Um, makes things a lot easier. Now we're going to go over a few points of interest on the sprayer itself. First, we're going to work with our tank control valve. Now this one here, it is currently in the open position and thus it's going to flow through your filter here which is going to go to your pumps. Now if you ever need to clean the filter, You'll simply shut this valve off and unscrew this housing here. Inside the housing is a stainless steel mesh filter. If you need to clean it, what you will do is you'll pull this housing off and simply rinse it underneath the sink. And then once you put it back in place, you can open your valve again and you'll have flow again to your uh, pumps. Now this also can help you regulate flow. So if you're looking to get more of a uh, low application rate. <laughs> Hi. Simba. Here. Thank you. All right, back to it. If you want to regulate the flow, um, you know, for certain products that may be more expensive, uh, you can simply adjust this valve here. Another point here, these two plugs. So the bottom plug here, this is actually the power uh, for your pump system. And this plug here with the cover, this is for your in-cab remote. Your in-cab remote is a simple handheld device with three different functions. Right now, it is in the off position. If we want to spray out the boom, we would simply flip the switch up. And if we want to use the hose reel, we'd simply flip the switch down. Now this, um, this handle here, uh, we don't recommend hardwiring it into the truck. We'll actually just run it through the window and we'll demonstrate that here later. So once we're inside the actual cover of the sprayer here, it shows you the two pumps that we're using. We're using Delavan diaphragm pumps that are rated at seven gallons per minute, and we actually have two of them hooked up in unison to get the proper flow rate. All right, so now that we're outside, we actually received a very small snow and ice event last night. So as you can see here, uh, we have some hard pack, some ice we're dealing with. So what we're using is the post-treatment tips on the boom itself, so the jet stream option. So simply all we're gonna do is we're gonna flip our boom switch to the up position and we're in business. Now that we've used our boom to spray all the open areas, we're going to switch to our hose reel. And that's going to be as simple as doing this. 
Now the pressure is being directed to our hose reel. So now we're, since we're trying to cut through some hard pack and some ice, we're gonna make sure that we use the jet stream nozzle instead of the fan stream nozzle. Now, since we've penetrated the hard pack, we're gonna to switch to more of a fan type nozzle. We're gonna do a light coating over the top. This will give you the best results. Well now, the driveway and sidewalk at this homeowner's property are safe and free of ice. Now, it's my time to ride off into the sunset.